Early on, I learned that even in high school, I saved this. I bust tables at the old Block and Cleaver, which, of course, we called the Block and Cleavers because we were really funny and we were at the height of adolescent humor. I say more working as a vendor at the old veteran stadium selling first cold soda than ice cold. That's how I did it. Hey, ice cold. I got ice cold soda here. Then only graduating to selling ice cream. Hey, I got ice cream, vanilla and chocolate. Very quickly, I learned the value of market power, specifically cornering the market. And I pay people to give me the exclusive right to sell ice cream. Hey, ice cream here on the 600 and then on the 700 level, which I own by keeping everybody else out of it. Can you imagine how much money you could be made if you had the only franchise in the whole upper deck? Well, at least it's the upper, upper deck, even for a team as horrible as the Phillies, which won almost no games. I made fortunes, except the one time they gave me strawberry ice cream. Talk about having to run from a customer after they sold you sold them that stuff. Or when Steve Carlton pitched because Lefty was on the mound, he got fired out so fast that I got stuck unsold ice cream. I had all the strawberry. You can't take it home. Real bad. You had to buy it from the company before selling it, so I'd take a beating whenever Carlton was on the mound. That's a business lesson. Talk about learning how business really works. The shelf life of ice cream on a hot July night after the ninth inning is about as short as short can be. By the way, during the lightning round, I might jest with you about your name, calling you, hey, Skipper, hey, Captain, how you doing? Chief. I learned these names at the ballpark. It's what people call me to get my attention, to buy ice cream. Hey, Chief. And frankly, I loved it. It's bizarre intimacy, and I never forgot the monikers, bud. I mean, partner. And that's why I use those terms on my money. Anyway, I made a ton of money at the advice of my father. I opened an account at Fidelity with the Magellan Fund. I contribute a little every week. It was the top, top four mutual fund of its time, run by the great Peter Lynch, who's written two investment books, one up on Wall Street and Beating the Street, still available on Amazon. They are fabulous. Get them. I didn't save enough when I got to college. The money paid was work study anyway, and it went toward my tuition room board. But when I got out of college and after multiple attempts to get a job in the newspaper business, I was rejected by 57 papers. I still have the rejections. I've saved every one of them. I hate everybody who rejected me. And, and, uh, never mind. I landed a position as a general sign reporter in Dallas. The Democrat crap making uh, 150 bucks a week. Uh, 150 bucks a week was not a lot to really kind of. Well, anyway, I still got a tattered pay stub. I've got it in an old wallet to remind me of how hard it was when I got started. Nevertheless, you know what? I still saved. I put a few dollars away when I could. A few dollars. I mean, like maybe four dollars. Not that long after that, I applied and got a job at the now defunct Los Angeles Herald Examiner. That was a horrible job, paying $179 a week. But as you can imagine, Los Angeles is more expensive than Tallahassee. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.